this video is going to be spread out over two days and after the intro I'll explain to you why. So I'm starting this video out on Monday evening and I'm doing it because tomorrow it's supposed to snow here in Montgomery. Well, if you've been a long time viewer, you know last year it snowed twice and that was record setting. It never snows here. Before that, the last time it snowed was like five years prior. Who would have thought it would be snowing in South Alabama? Once again, it's history being made right here second snow and one winter in Alabama so because it's supposed to snow and it never snows down here the entire area where I live it goes nuts people go to the grocery store they buy up all the gas in town gas stations run out of gas the the grocery stores run out of eggs and or, or bread and milk and all that good stuff we're gonna go see if we can see some of the, the craziness firsthand in northern cities a winter snow is just a normal part of life. Life continues on and it doesn't halt anything up. But here in southern cities where it usually never snows, everyone panics. And it seems like it's the end of the world. It's a snow apocalypse, if you will. Gas stations run out of gas, grocery stores run out of the essentials like milk and bread and eggs. And chances are they'll probably close all the schools because of it. No joke, it, it almost seems like it really is an apocalyptic event. So, this evening, because everybody in town is panicking, they are worried that they may not be able to get out tomorrow, so they're running to the gas stations and running to the grocery stores, buying it all up. We're going to get out. I'm going to go to some of the grocery stores and see what the shelves look like. And I'm going to show you how people down here panic. Whereas in northern cities, it could be 10 times worse and it's just business as usual for them. In a northern city that's used to the snow, it's business as usual. People are out shopping, stores are wide open, and vehicles are out driving on the road. It's a totally different story in the south. For starters, people can't drive in the snow down here. And everyone panics. From about midnight on, it's supposed to be raining as the temperature drops. So it's not actually supposed to snow until maybe eight or nine o'clock in the morning. I'm at the grocery store now and you can see the parking lot behind me, it's full. You can see the bridge hills here are being emptied off. It never fails anytime it's going to snow. The people of this city, they panic. They come by up all the bread because they feel like they won't be able to leave the house and they'll be snowed in. When in actuality, the snow may not even stick to the ground or it'll be less than an inch. Now, we lived in West Virginia for a year and we would get seven or eight feet of snow while we were up there and the world continues on. But down here, it does not continue on. The whole world stops. And you know, the chances are tomorrow it may not even snow, even though they're projecting that it will. Just to show you that it's not just this one store just so happens to be busy tonight. We're gonna go around the corner to the Walmart grocery store and uh, I'll show you it's gonna be the same thing there too. You can see here all the gas stations are full. This gas station's even raised their prices up 10 cent a gallon. Coming up over here on our left is another shopping center. And you will be able to see its parking lot is slap full too. Everybody buying up their bread and milk. Right now we are going to enter into the Walmart neighborhood market grocery store. 
And look at this parking lot. Slap full as well. It's a huge difference between living down here in Alabama and living somewhere up north where it snows often. People just go nuts here if they think it's gonna snow. Check out all the bread here flying off the shelves. It's flying off the shelves here. It's absolutely crazy. It's not just bread though. The meat flies off the shelves. This is the ground beef section. People expect not to be able to come back to the market. All the eggs fly off the shelves. And all the milk flies off the shelves too. Cereal, anything like that, that people can eat quickly. It goes quick. This is the juices, orange juice and stuff is gone. Gallon jugs of like sweet tea, all that goes very quick. It's not just food, bread, milk, those type things that fly off the shelf fuel gasoline people don't know when they'll be able to fill up again or at least they think they don't know like this gas station they've turned their gas lights off that's because they have no more gasoline people have bought it all up and there's nothing left now that i've showed you how everybody freaks out and panics we're gonna go to bed we're gonna wake up and see if anything actually happens nine times out of ten nothing happens it's some cold cold rain no snow that's usually what happens when they say it's gonna snow around here. We're gonna see if all these people who panicked and bought the stores out of bread and milk and eggs, we're gonna see if they were justified in doing so. So I just got the word. All of Montgomery schools are all shut down tomorrow. The governor of the state of Alabama, Kay Ivey, has declared the state in a state of emergency and because of the impending snow that's gonna be supposed to be coming tomorrow, it's a mess i tell you it's a mess anytime it's supposed to snow here that's what happens so schools are not in service tomorrow because they're thinking that it might snow i guess there's nothing left to do but to go to bed and then we'll wake up in the morning and we can check the progress and see if it actually does snow and if it does how bad is it going to be the next day we've reached 9 a.m the weather has not done anything it's just really really cold outside no snow it rained for several hours throughout the night, but there's no snow coming down right now. So basically everything in Alabama shut down, expecting there to be snow, and it wasn't even gonna be a lot of snow. And uh, it did not snow, so now schools are out and businesses are closed down. And today even actually turned out to be one of the prettier days that we've had in a while. The sun is out nice and bright. It is a little cool out, but it's still, seems to be a fairly pretty day this is usually what happens the the city panics and shuts down and it's usually for nothing even when it really does snow it's never a lot maybe we might get an inch maybe two at the most and it melts very fast the difference on how the north reacts to snow compared to how the south reacts is amazingly different and in my opinion it's crazy that southerners panic so much when just a little snow is going to come to town but until it starts snowing here more often which over the last few years it has seemed to be doing just that people down here will always fear what they don't know unfortunately we had no snow which stinks because the schools were let out and everything shut down it just turned out to be a little cold i'm gonna end this video now i hope you enjoyed this video on the difference between the north and the south and how they handled the snow i want to thank you all for watching and i'll see you again tomorrow i hope that you have a great day